until then, I'm going to continue to let the youth and citizens of this state that satellites do not exist and NASA is a fraud and we never landed on the moon. I can prove it to you in one minute, sir. But you walk away and ridicule me because you don't want truth. Truth is hate speech for people who hate the truth. And he knows everything because he went to school. Truth is hate speech. To those who love to live in a reality of lies. And if you still believe that, that we live on a spinning ball, hurtling billions of miles through space in some direction that nobody can tell us, please investigate and wake up. Please prove me wrong. Please debunk what I'm saying. That's all I want. Just waiting. Waiting for somebody to prove me wrong. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be right, either. This isn't me trying to prove that I'm right. My pride is not here. Humility actually brought me here. Anger. Frustration. Not wanting to be lied to. And not wanting my fellow human beings to be lied to. I don't care what color you are, who you like. How you doing? Good. Good, man. This is... Oh, just kind of doing a PSA, social experiment, uh, letting people know that satellites don't exist. Satellites don't exist. No, sir. I've seen them. With your own physical eyes? Yeah. Okay, what do they do? Like, what... How do you see a satellite? What it, Can you oh, explain? they just move across the sky, realize it's slow. Okay, so you lights. see a light in the sky? Yeah. And then how do you know that that's just a light in the sky? Like, how do you know that's a satellite? What else is floating around making flashing lights and stuff? They did you flash too sometimes. Okay. Did Different you know colors. did you know that NASA has a bigger balloon program than they do a shuttle program? I believe it. Other okay. balloons and the like. Yeah, and they got blimps and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, does this look like a picture of a satellite? Sure. Yeah. It does. Okay. Did you see uh, the most recent Rogue One movie? Uh no. Okay. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, that opens up tomorrow. Okay, how about any other space movies like Gravity? Uh, I just watched Interstellar recently. Okay, sure, right on. And uh, so that's space, right? That's that's yeah. real. Yeah. Okay. It's... Well, no, it's not real. Oh, it's not real. It's a drama. Oh, it is. Okay, so so what Hollywood tells us about space is real or it's science fiction? I'm. Can you explain? I think. Well, a lot of it's science fiction, of course, but okay. they draw on things that have happened to you know. Okay, so a lot of your conceptions of what space is come through Hollywood? Uh, no. Okay, we're... I would say what Hollywood gets their conceptions of space from is from space. From, from NASA, from maybe? Na NASA or the cosmonauts or any of those people, yeah. Okay, so can I burst your bubble here for a second? Uh, you can try it. Okay, this is actually a CGI picture of a satellite in space. I believe it. Okay, but you told me that it was real. No, I said it looked like a satellite. No, you, I mean, I don't want to split hairs here, man, but you did tell me that this was a real picture. And this is all CGI. You asked me if it looked like a satellite. I know. Yes, it looks yep. like a satellite. But this is CGI of a satellite in space. This is a picture of a satellite. Okay. But where is it? On the ground. Yeah. So this may or may not be a working model of a bunch of ninth graders who probably won a contest building a satellite. Yeah. But if this is what they tell us that goes up in the sky, why can't they just simply give us a picture of a real satellite in space? Why do they have to CGI it? There are pictures of satellites in space. Okay, have you ever s Googled satellites in space? Yeah. Okay, and they're all this though, sir. Uh, they look different than that too. They, they do, they but they're actually ones. all third person views of a computer image in space. They're not real. Like, if I was to take a picture of you right now, and I was to send it to your mom, she would say, yeah, that's my son, you know, like, cool. But then if I took like a picture of you and then I put a bunch of Photoshop all over it and I made it look completely different from what you look like, isn't that deception? Yeah. Yeah. So I would just encourage you to Google image satellites in space and the earth from space 
And if you can tell me, uh, just I'm tr really trying to, I want to go home, you know, I'm tired of doing this. <laughs> uh, but I just, I can't get anybody to tell me what the actual size of the United States is. That one, well, that might be actually smaller than what it is. Huh. But uh, this seems more like what it, what it should be the size of. Yeah. Okay, so of what they tell us it should be, right? I mean, you can like map that kind of thing. Like, not even from space, you can you can okay. like, take lines and like measure the curvature, and then you know, using the known circumference of the Earth, you can say if this is this big and the circumference is this big, then the scale is. They can, they can give you a pic. They can give you a CGI picture that is to scale. States. Okay, so you believe we went to the moon, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so why don't they just, since we've been to the moon, why don't they just simply take a picture of the Earth and then we just don't have multiple pictures of the Earth from space? Because as you can see on your right, the size of the U.S. has changed. So there's some inconsistencies with what they tell us the size of America is. Well, that, that's not a real picture. <laughs> no, neither of them are, man. They're I actually both CGI. Yeah, and if you Google image Earth from space, all you get are CGI's. So kind of back to my point, why would they have to Photoshop or CGI pictures of something that we just know is, should know is true? Why are there so many inconsistencies? Well, I'm going to challenge your premise on that one. Yeah. So you can get pictures of Earth from space that are actually, like, film photographs. Oh, where? Where? Because I've looked, man. I wouldn't be here if I didn't... Look. Pick, picks from like, uh, you know, uh, rockets they've sent out. There's one in uh, Saturn right now. No, that Cassini? Just went, yeah, Cassini just yep. went through the rings and stuff. Yeah, did you know that Cassini, when you Google image Cassini Saturn, all you get are third person representations of Cassini looking at Saturn. So I guess my critical question to you is are they sending another satellite to take a picture of Cassini while Cassini looks at Saturn? You can, you can look at the, they, on the NASA webpage, I looked at this, they have like, like the raw footage of the pictures that Cassini has been taken and then like CGI like enhancements where they like you know add depth and color to things to mm -hmm. try and make certain features stand out and you can look at the raw pics like there are no raw pics man they're all CGI <laughs> I'm being very serious with you man I've looked and all they have, all they give us are computer images so I've I've heard these 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 I'm not going to call it like a conspiracy theory, but like... You can call it whatever you want, man. NASA's lying to us about where we live. And that's why I'm here. Where do we live? I don't know. But I, we certainly don't live in a spinning ball flying and hurtling millions of miles through space. Is it a spinning uh, disc? Uh, no, we actually... The Earth doesn't move. You know, if you actually look at it, um, there's no positive measurement that can prove that the Earth is moving. What about uh, seasons? Seasons? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I'll give you one last illustration. Um, before I do, let me just kind of cite an article to kind of put the nail in the coffin, if you will, about satellites not existing. In April of 2015, there's a Newsweek article, and they tell us that 99% of all communication done on Earth is through fiber optics and ground towers. So, and the other 1% is old school landlines from previous, you know, from the 1970s. Yeah, I believe it. Okay, and that they, they started laying fiber optics around like the 70s, 70s. or 80s. Yeah. Okay. So, where do satellites come in if 100% of all of our communication is done through fiber optics and landlines? Well, I mean, so a cell phone, when you take a call, goes up to the satellite first to you know Verizon satellite okay then it comes back down to a tower and then goes through fiber optics or whatever to another tower wherever the person is okay but it, it gets bounced first because it's quicker that way say you're calling somebody on China and you're in America instead of taking a landline all the way around the circumference they don't the go the circumference they go underground so if you google Newsweek oh, undersea yeah. cables it's mean, like webs yeah there's like hundred it'll go you know but where do satellites come in, though? To the Lake Superior and then through the St. Lawrence Strait to the ocean. Okay. Yeah. But it's way faster to just route it up from a satellite because comparatively that's closer and then back down, you know. Okay. Like I know you want to believe that, but in the article I just cited you, they tell us that fiber optics is eight times faster than, satel quote, satellite technology. So they actually don't do anything that you just told me. 
So I'm sorry, man. I've read articles that say that Santa Claus, you know, you can't prove he's Yeah, we're not real, talking about so. Santa Claus, though, man. We're talking about NASA and their $50 million a day that they use to just CGI pictures. I wrote an article once. Okay. And it was uh, full of citations and uh, got, it didn't get published in any journals. Sure. But, but uh, I'm just <clears throat> saying, like you saying that there's an article that says this. It's a pretty know. damaging article, man. It is actually very damaging because they what the establishment does is they tell us the truth because everybody here on campus is so brainwashed into believing in the globe uh, that they you. won't yeah ridicule before invested hey, ridicule hey, hey, investigation no, 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 no. no don't be calling people names yeah but okay, you ne you never okay. looked into it man no, I, and i understand I what you're no look, you haven't okay, i'm sorry like, how do i so, explain so, okay, what so your theory yes, is my that... my theory but you don't know where i'm coming from man no no i i do but you I don't do. know how our think... how, you don't know how my interaction started with him I don't care. But yeah. Let's see. Sure. Well, that's a good how, point. How, how do you explain scientific? Because how a scientific theory works is you have a model Thanks, which describes how the world <clears throat> is. Uh -huh. Okay? And yep. then that model is able to make predictions. Okay. Your flat earth theory uh -huh. doesn't make any predictions other than that there's a conspiracy. And it also makes even more assumptions about the world than it does evidence proofs. Okay. okay? You make more assumptions than you can make predictions. Therefore, your theory is not. Okay. I was okay. just actually at a Church of Assumption Brown. earlier this morning. Okay. What? I was at the Church of Assumption in St. Paul. Sure. Yeah, and they assume a lot of so things, too. And how, how, well, it's actually called the Church of Assumption. How, okay. <laughs> like, literally, verbatim. So, the Church of Assumption yes, yeah. followers are Scientologists. No, it's actually a but Catholic church, man. You can't predict yeah. anything with your flat earth model. Yeah, you can't predict anything with gravity either, man. Yes, That's can. a theory. You can predict how the... I, I know. I know you, you want to believe it, man. You can predict how the stars man. rotate around a certain mass. You can predict how moons rotate around their bodies. Gravity's never been proven, man. It's yes, never it been... Has. No, it hasn't. Do you know what a theory is? A scientific theory. Yeah, a theory right is... Now, a theory have... is us three getting together no, 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 and no, no, just coming no, up with an idea that hasn't been measured. It's not the theory that I know that talking... Thinking. I know that when you talk over me, it makes you feel empowered, okay, no, see, but you're not letting me is, talk. You're so. Like, I, I can't let okay. you just spew wrongness. Okay, so prove to me that satellites exist, man. Prove to you... Yeah. I'm working on it right now. You are. I am actually... I am part of the CubeSat team of U of M. Awesome. U of M, and I'm working on a uh, the solar panels of the CubeSat team, and you're going to launch it into the Earth. Okay. Okay? Sure. Into the... Into the I know. I know you want to okay. believe that, man. I really respect your okay, opinion, look. but... Unfortunately, this is a this is a CGI representation of a satellite. And when yes. you when you Google image or you look in your popular science magazine, okay, okay, question. see, How but you're not letting you me finish, so I don't think I'm going to talk to this guy because this guy's much more. Of a satellite. He's open to learn. He's he's at least open minded, look, and he on. stopped. I I have been you know hearing you out and stuff. But sure. Dude, it's stupid. The Earth but the name calling is all you I get, man. I cannot handle stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not a nice person, but I'm tired of this. That's this, fine, man. Like allowing people to spew lies. Yeah, into the I, that's world and that's is why I'm here to talk about position. NASA. Why do you think NASA is a fraudulent company, dude? It is not a fraudulent yeah, company. It is. it is a it's a government lie. organization which, which is gets a lie. money from the government to do research on the Earth. Okay, yep. it's, it's it's a lie, dude. They don't have anything. To all gain. your all your pictures of Earth are CGI, and all your pictures of satellites are CGI, okay, man. I don't think understand how pictures work. I do understand how you pictures work. If I camera, take a picture of this guy in his awesome Jimi Hendrix shirt... I got shirt, one. I got one. Yeah. Um, so He's like, a real person and I can take a picture of him. <laughs> I don't have to Photoshop it. Yeah, but during the, like, the Vietnam War they had like uh, <clears throat> uh, black... or not black... Uh, I don't know, they had like a long nose and then big jets in the back and they were some of the first... Uh, they were the, it was the first airplane to make it to space. Like stratosphere. Okay, us, right? that's low Earth orbit, man. That's not space. So you orbit. Gravity. That's low Earth orbit. Yeah, but you can't orbit. You're still. Gravity. Yeah, but you. But low Earth orbit. The gravity. But see, that's the thing. Is like they get you to, to believe that gravity is real. What's more powerful, okay, no, God it, or gravity, this is, man? This is beyond. This is beyond what I was going What's say. more, God or gravity? And can I give you some truth about Vietnam? The reason why we were in Vietnam is because Vietnam is the second largest country to produce heroin and opiates. And when they sent the caskets home, 
they were filled with heroin and opiates. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's why we were sir, in Vietnam. I wasn't too surprised by that, but really it was a proxy war trying to stop the spread of communism. No, it was actually sir, it was actually to get heroin is a lot less more like it has. You have way no idea. On, why do you think the Moab life? was sir. dropped in Afghanistan? Okay, but hold on, I didn't get to finish my point. Yeah, about go those for your point. Sure. Points. They so they made it to the stratosphere, right? They made it to orbit, whatever. Gravity. Okay. Sure. We're not going to make any assumptions. Okay, yeah, let's just, for but the sake took, of argument. They took spy pictures. They were, like, flying really high, and they had powerful film cameras. Of the ground? Where Yeah, they would take pictures of the of ground. Of the ground, okay. From that's up high. Okay. And they would drop the canisters to Earth, and they'd develop the photos and use them for spy reconnaissance. Okay. And they were able to be high enough that they could see continents and oceans from, like, a macro point of view. Uh-huh. So... Why is like a film photograph developed and all that taken right by a camera uh -huh. in the 70s before CGI, before any yep. of that? They were able to get pictures of the Earth as a large object. Yeah, but they didn't get the pictures curvature. of this, man. They yes, didn't get they pictures did. like that. Okay. They this, got pretty fucking this high, though. Might like, be a CGI picture. It, it but is. But there are real pictures. No, there's not, man. Yes, there is. No, I'm sorry okay. to tell you. I, I gotta go. I mean, I, hey, I, I appreciate sorry. you stopping, man. Yeah. Have a good rest of your week, Wait, okay? Have a good weekend. Wrong. Like, there are. No, there's not. There are. Show me one, please. And then you, if you want, you can go on the ISS live stream right now. What what type of drink do you like? Do you like coffee, tea, want a beer? You know, do you like candy? Because for every, like, satellite that you see during the ISS live stream, I'll buy you whatever you want for each one. Okay, you don't understand how Oh, I do big... understand. Okay, you don't understand how big the universe is. You don't understand how you're massively how deceived you are right now. Is, okay? You're very deceived right now, and I understand I where you're deceived. coming from. I understand. Yep, you understand what you're being told by the establishment. Okay. <clears throat> you're saying I understand what I'm being told by the establishment. Yep. You believe what you are being told by whatever establishment you come from. So how are you? No, I come from truth, better? man. No, you don't. <clears throat> yep. You really don't. Yeah. Okay. Your truth How old are you? 20 years old? 19? I am 19. Okay. Yes. So you, you have a long ways to go, man. But you obviously don't have It's okay. I understand. Go. Yeah. Like, I get it, man. I was the same way, dude. I thought space was real. You're trying, actually, you're trying to dismiss, you're trying to dismiss all of my arguments by assuming that I am at a lower intelligence level because you feel like you have more experience, except for the fact I, that I you do do have not, I do have more experience. experience. I'm twice your wrong. age, man. And... You're out on the street, yep. carrying an iPhone or whatever that is. Yep. And you're talking to kids, telling them that the Definitely. Earth is flat. Yes. Okay. Yep. Your position in life. Yep. No. Okay. And it's, and it's, it's, it's who told bad. you that whatever it is that you perceive as success is true? I have defined. Oh, what okay. Success. So your own personal experiences has created your worldview to yes, determine my, my what is successful and not. Success, my my definition of success is to figure out how this world works in a more intimate way than we do right now. Okay. Okay. And if you want to do that, man, use your own two eyes and stop using NASA. <laughs> okay, I am. And and okay, Hollywood. Look, look, okay, you cannot predict how the moon rotates around the Earth with your theory. I can't. The moon okay. doesn't rotate I around the Earth? I can predict what is the escape velocity of a satellite uh -huh. or a rocket from the Earth. So you know a Cannot language? You know a language? Lie. Mathematics is a language, man. Mathematics is the description of how physics works. Physics is the description of how the world works. It's a language, okay? though. It is not a language. It is. It is our interpretation of how, the nat how nature and universe works as a whole. Yeah, you're not, but see, okay, I, no, no, no. yeah, you're no, getting no, no, very, no, no. Uh, I know you're frustrated with me coming at no, you with I'm an alternative with view. Like, yep, flat this earthers, is, I'm frustrated. This is not a picture of a real, scenario. this is not Earth, man. It is. And climate change is, is an agenda by Earth. Agenda 2030. Are you familiar with Agenda 21 or Agenda 30? Have you ever been to the, uh, the uh, Great Barrier Reef? Nope. No. Have you? No. Okay. okay. So then, have why are we having this conversation? The acidification of the. Uh, okay. Since you or I haven't been there, you, you then can, you, you can can't measure this up, how man. acidic the Earth is. Okay. And that is a direct result of CO2 being absorbed into the ocean. And what about cow farts? Does cow farts have anything to do with? Yes. Well, it does. Yes. That's methane. That is absolutely the most ridiculous thing no, I've no, heard no, today no, no, so no, far, no. man. No. 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 
logical fallacy. You're saying so if I that fart, sounds ridiculous. If I therefore fart right it is, now, it is ridiculous. if I fart right now, yes. does that do anything to the ozone layer? Not to the ozone layer. Okay. You're getting, so, or to, you're, or you're to getting the environment? environmental disasters mixed up. The ozone layer oh. was when CFCs were released into the atmosphere uh -huh. and they reacted with ozone, O3, and broke it down to O2. So you're just regurgitating. So did, are you a good student? You get I, like A's, I, A+. I, plus? Yeah, <clears throat> no, you see, I've read these papers. Okay. Okay. I've thought about... But you didn't answer everything. my question. Are you a good student here? Yes, okay. I'm a good student. Okay, so okay. You, so you're good at regurgitating no. information that was given to you, no, but you don't use physics, your own physical no, observations. Physics, physics is you look about how the world works. Physics is a religion, man. No, it is not. Just a like religion. gravity is a their religion god. Religion is blindly accepting something that you think is true to be true. Okay, physics so like scientism. Scientism? No, that is not. Oh, that is not physics. It's not. No. So scientism isn't a religion. Scientism isn't a thing. I've never heard of that. Okay, well Google it and then type in scientism exposed and you'll find out that science is actually okay. a religion, man. And gravity sure. is your god. Because if you can explain everything gravity away by saying... You, yeah. you don't even understand how gravity works. Do you know what gravity is? Yep, watch. Gravity. So I'm gonna do, hey everybody, I'm gonna do a, uh, an experiment here of gravity. Alright, there it is. So, that's pretty much it. Gravity is a it's, fourth dimensional it's how tensor. You, it's how you explain space, stuff away, man. Gravity is a fourth dimensional tensor in space time. Uh huh. Okay? Okay. Gravity is. Has that a, been measured? Gravity, yes. Okay, gravity by who? is a manifestation. It's a manifestation. People. So gravity it's is a, a manifestation of a man. Of the space time curvature in the universe. But water doesn't okay? curve, man. That's not at all what I talked but about. But you just said a curvature. The curvature of, of space what? time. Nobody's space measured space-time, yes, man. Yes, they have. Where? They've measured the tenseness no, in space-time. they have not, yes, man. Look, That's a religion, man. Have you heard man. of LIGO? LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. Okay. Okay? It's these giant lasers uh -huh. at 40, uh, 90 degree angles to each other. Okay. Okay? Yep. And these giant lasers are so sensitive, they're able to measure differences in the space-time curvature by less than a proton. Okay. Okay? So, about four billion years, no, not four billion, I don't know, really, really long fucking time a, a, ago. A time that nobody's been able to measure because nobody was there. Yes, you, you can because but nobody was there, the man. speed of light is constant. Okay? okay? That's what they told you. Okay, the speed of light is constant. Can I, when you're done talking, am I going to be able to have 90 seconds to talk without interruption? I mean, are you going to spew shit or are you just going to actually... See, but you're spewing argue. stuff that I don't agree with and I'm letting you talk. Okay, the so. thing is, is you can't your but I can. That you say is it's my opinion, dude. And last time I checked, no, no, this is America, is and I can say whatever I want. Science is not if I want to say I'm a, ch if I want to say I identify myself as that rock, I can identify myself as that rock. Yeah, but that is not true. But you can identify by it, but you aren't. It's not true. Okay, so you're telling all the people that are identifying as something, uh, if a guy is born a woman and he wants to be, no, because you can still call them male or female. Okay, that they but you're offending them though. They feel like you're offending them by no, no, calling no. them something different. If they want to be male, if they want to be female, <laughs> uh -huh. okay, they can be. Okay, but I, I want to be that care. rock. Yeah, I want to no, identify see, as that rock. Is, the thing is, the thing is, sir, is that what's stopping you from calling them male or female if they want to be called male or female? Nothing. It well, doesn't from matter. what you just told me, that I can't because change, that's not it doesn't an opinion. Change their biological gender. No, it doesn't. Okay. But it still doesn't matter what you they can identify as. Okay. I got, can I have 90 seconds, please? Okay. I was born with cystic fibrosis. Okay. Yeah. okay. So I'm not against science. Okay. So let's be on the same level here for a second. Okay. I'm not against science. I agree with the ability to be able to cure disease, but they're never going to do it because it makes more money to keep me alive. But I'm not against science. I'm against the comparison between biology and something that we can observe to something like Star Trek and telling us that, that Hollywood gives us proper representations of what space is. That's that's science though, man. Yeah. Do you know who Bill Nye is? I know exactly who Bill Nye is. Okay, who is he? Can you tell me? He is a mechanical engineer yep. who is now a uh, science advocate in Society. Okay, so he's a spokesperson for lies. No, 
Oh, okay. No, you have defined science as lies. Except yeah. you, ex you yourself has not done any of this work to actually define any of Have you watched Bill Nye's show, He Take, uh, Bill Nye Saves the World? I have not yet, because I'm a student, and I actually have work to do. Uh-huh. Okay. I have work to do, too, man. That's I mean, why I'm here. I mean, this isn't really work. Yeah, it's it is. It's more of like a hobby about telling people that the Earth is flat, even no. though it's not. Yep. And you're really just spreading But water doesn't curve, man. Okay, all. so real quick, with Bill Nye Saves the World, you can just YouTube this song. Okay, it's called Sex Junk. Okay? Bill Nye, Sex Junk. It's a song that he has on his TV show, Season 1, Episode 9, where he says that sexuality is a spectrum. Yeah, it is. But that's not proven. Uh, what? That's what not proof. What do you need to prove about that? How does a three-year-old identify themselves as a male or female? They don't have to. But that's what they're kind of promoting in this song, though, is that a three-year-old can tell their parents what they want to be. And they don't understand at that level what, what, of intelligence. What, is it? what are you even talking about? I'm so saying like, that you need to watch that. If grows up and it def defines itself... Uh, let's say it's a male three-year-old, and it defines itself as a female uh -huh. three-year-old, or female, in its older life, okay? Why... We're not talking about older else? life, man. Okay. We're talking about a three-year-old. Yeah. We're not talking about so when, he gets old, when he gets older. So what? Okay. I have a problem with that. Yeah, no, a three-year-old's not telling anyone... Yeah, they are, man. No. You haven't watched that song. You haven't watched Sex Junk yet, man, no, and it's I on haven't. YouTube. But even digressing, okay? Like... That was a complete tangent to what we're talking about. We're still talking about the Earth. No, we're talking about how flat. Bill Nye is being used as a prophet well, of propaganda. Can we walk? No, I gotta stay here, man. I know. I mean, I'm just going to break this. Okay, sure. So it's. I know, I know alternative views frustrate you, no, but. No, 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 no. It's not alternative. It is. Wrong. Look, you say alternative like it's a buzzword and like it means anything, other than the fact that it's not what is currently held. What's currently <coughs> held is right. Okay? Or at least right to so, the amount of knowledge that so we because, know today. So because a lot of people agree with something, that means that it's right? No. Oh, but it, that's what it, you just it said. It means that today we have evidence for what I believe. What if there was more evidence to prove flat there Earth isn't. than the globe? There isn't, though. But you have you looked? Yes. And you're still a globe? Yes. Hmm. What you so you think? reject truth then, right? No, no, I, I reject lies. I reject. Oh. Yeah, I do too. I That's why I'm here. Assumptions. You are making assumptions about the world that yep. don't make so, any sense. So do people who believe in okay. gravity. Why the heck? What What is your evidence for flat Earth? Really uh, water doesn't it. curve. What? Water doesn't curve. Yes, it does. How does it curve? It curves when you. Have you ever seen on the ISS? Or okay, you can do. This. Uh yeah, I've seen the ISS, you and can, can, they use a fisheye well, lens. Do no, you know no, what no, a fisheye no, lens no, is? No, no, no. You can do this. You okay. can do this. Okay? Yeah, let me know. You can go, uh, there's something called zero-g planes. Yep, it's called uh, the Vomit Comet. Yeah, the Vomit yep. Comet. You go in there. And that's how they simulate the ISS being in space. Did you know yes, that? Yes, yes. Because ISS is constantly falling. No, man. Yes, it is. Look, okay, so hmm. this is what you call orbital velocity. Okay. when you have a... So this is more regurgitation no, 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 and no, no, not no, no, observation. No, no, no. Okay. This is how the world works. Oh, okay. If you have something, you're 19 and you're telling you me have, how the world yes, works. Because you don't know. Oh, wow. So I need to tell you. Yeah, I please inform me. Inform everybody here it's, too. So if you have a body uh -huh. that is moving faster than is this it's relativity? At a, is this another theory of relativity? No, no, no. Oh, this okay. is Newtonian gravity, okay. which isn't a complete From description Newton? of Einstein's general relativity. Okay. Is this from Newton? This is from Newton. Okay. Yes, that's why it's the Newtonian physics. Yeah, I just want that. clarification for people that are watching and listening. Okay. They might not know. So, when you have something moving faster than it falls after going a quarter of the distance around the Earth, yep. that is called orbital velocity, or actually at the same speed that it would require to go a quarter rotation around the Earth. Okay. okay? And the Earth has a centripetal force going towards the Earth, or no, not centripetal, hey, yeah, centripetal force, pulling Centrifugal? On. Centripetal. No, it's not T, man, it's no, no, centrifugal. It's centripetal. Centrifugal is the fake force that you feel Oh, so now avoid. something's fake? No, You're, it oh. is a perceived force. If oh, you took perceived? physics 101, you would know this, or so, 1301 at the U. Okay, so, so 
So the centripetal force is the force required to keep something in a centrifugal uh, orbit. Can so, I ask you? Can I ask you a very centripetal uh, means center? C can I? Can I get in so for a minute? Let's. Okay. Okay. Because I'm letting you talk a lot. Hey. Um. Do you believe in God? I was raised Catholic, and now I do not. Okay. Coincidentally enough, I was actually at a Catholic church, and I kind of mentioned that a lot of people who grew up in Catholic church don't believe in God anymore. They believe in gravity. And so I made a post about what's more powerful, God or gravity. What, who do you think is more powerful? I think that you have no proof that God exists. But you have no proof that gravity exists. Yes, you do. No. Yes, you do. So you've you've you have you've proof that things orbit around. But my bodies. friend, my friend. Okay. They say that they cannot measure gravity, okay, man. Sorry. If you do not believe that gravity exists. But they tell us that. If you don't believe gravity exists. You know who Neil deGrasse Tyson then is? Then jump off the bridge and tell me that gravity doesn't exist. But that's just me weighing more than the air around me, man. That, no, no. Yep. Weight is a force, and the acceleration of gravity causes you to move towards the earth. Okay. You could theoretically be moving in a straight line on curved Euclidean, Euclidean space. Woo! See, I've been around, man. People know why I'm here. Yeah. Then I'm infecting the minds of the youth, and I'm going to stop really NASA are. from lying to people. Like, so you know who Neil deGrasse Tyson is? Yes. Okay. Um, he may or may not be a real scientist, but he was in an interview and a lady asked him what is gravity and he started out by saying, I don't know. Yes, because there's something called the Grand Unified Theory. But he said okay? he doesn't and know and problem. you're telling me that they do. The electroweak force at the quantum level and Let's gravity, go around the corner quantum here for gravity the is really hard to define. No, I actually don't want to find So if you actually knew yeah. how this works, that you would know that there is a problem with unifying the theory of general relativity and quantum mechanics. Okay. Okay? And at that point, since we can't figure out how those two fit, we, there is still gaps in the scientific So it's knowledge. a theory. No, okay. It sounds theories. like you're telling me theories, a theory, theories, theories, theory. You need to define what a theory is. A theory in the scientific world uh -huh. is one that can make <clears throat> predictions. Okay. And one which has been rigorously tested over and over and proven and accepted in the scientific uh, community. Okay. Your theory is not the same theory as a scientific theory. What if they're suppressing the flat earth because flat earth so, concept so would ruin law, the globe? A law is a <clears throat> usually a mathematical law like... Uh, yeah, which is a language that they created. No, no, no. A law is something which you can always... It's, it's not... A theory is like how something works. But it a hasn't been proven. Is, Showing. And nobody can see it. Yes, it is. Uh, no, it but a theory proven. is something theory that has not been proven. observed, a theory man. Theory in the scientific community is proven. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a theory. It is not. No. Just like the theory of relativity. Your definition of a theory is different from a scientific theory. I don't. Okay. Just, okay. You Could you to, help me? Help me understand. That. Okay. Okay. I, I said a yep. theory has to be a theory in the scientific community has to be proven. It has okay. to be rigorously tested. So they've proved that, that we can that gravity go. Gravity works. Yes. I but I just told you that Neil deGrasse Tyson said that we don't know what yes, gravity is. We, we don't know how... Because it's not something that can be observed. We don't know how we can specifically get gravity to work uh -huh. in the quantum world. Okay. okay? Which is our reality that, right here? The quantum world? The quantum world is small. Okay. It's on the level of the proton. Which okay. is insanely small. Sure. Okay? It is at the point where particles become waves and waves become particles and things have quantum entanglement which have uh Can I ask you a question? on each other faster than the speed of light. Can I ask you a quick question? What? Uh what about black holes? Black holes? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. what about that? <clears throat> Are black holes a theory? No. Oh. So we've observed a black hole? Yes, in LIGO. Recently, but I've, 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 I've researched such my, information and my they haven't. Ta has actually worked on Maya. Okay. Uh, he also worked on CERN, but that's not really important. Yeah. Are you are you familiar with what CERN is? CERN is the uh, particle accelerator, which I'm actually going to be helping work. Well, actually, no, I'm not. I'm I'm working with a different particle accelerator this summer, uh, working on the mu to e. Okay. Can I ask you a serious question? What? Can you step away from your education for a minute 
and be humble and and admit that you don't know everything? I don't know everything. Okay. But at least what I'm doing yep. is trying to figure out how the universe works and not just rejecting the body, the mounds and body of evidence that we actually do have about how the world works, which actually makes predictions usable results like the general theory of relativity you can use to help GPS work. Ground okay, positioning GPS, system? Global positioning system. You know that it's ground and it's, it's always global. been ground? It's and before that it was position. LAN? It's the global positioning system. Do you, you have your phone, right? Yes. Could you cite this news article real quick? For what? Uh, it's called Newsweek Undersea Cables. Oh wow, Newsweek. It's a real credible source. Hey man, so is uh, Alex Jones, right? He is not a credible source. Yep, so is CNN, right? Uh, is CNN, CNN a is credible source? not a very credible source. Okay, well, I'm talking about could you rigorous cite me? scientific... I'm talking about so, rigorous so scientific the, papers, which have actually That you have to pay through, $40 to see? You have to pay $40, otherwise there's no way that... Don't you think that's kind of a Ponzi scheme? Work. That's a Ponzi scheme, That's not it what a Ponzi like. scheme is. Do you know what a definition of a Ponzi scheme is? I don't really, I don't really care, but no, it sounds like a scam so to me. So the thing is, is you're wrong. Okay. But I, whether I'm wrong or not, if I have to pay forty dollars to get informed about something, then they're clearly keeping that information away from people who can't afford it, right? You know that is actually a useful criticism of how the scientific system works today. Thanks, man. Appreciate okay. it. Yeah. Yes, there is problems on how you fund science. Okay. Yep. That is I real. agree. And but I'll be still, there on I'll be there on Saturday it, it to talk about that on, at the cystic fibrosis walk at Lake Calhoun. I'll be there to tell them that why is the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation have $3.5 billion? We can talk about capitalism all you want, yep. but it doesn't it doesn't mean that science isn't real, that the I, I, isn't round, like I and said, that climate change I, I do doesn't believe exist. Climate change doesn't exist, and I agree with exist. some science, but when you incorporate science in with space travel, I have a problem with that. So Newsweek Undersea Cables, they tell us that 99% of all communication done on Earth is through fiber optics and ground towers. And the other 1% is landlines. Yeah. So that's 100% of communication done okay. is through the ground, not through no, communication no. Okay. of satellites, so, so man. For, first off, yeah. Okay. you need really powerful antennae to get signals from your phone or anything else up to a satellite to bounce around to the other side. No, of the you earth. don't actually. There's but a thing, there's a thing called, Look, okay. do you so know what you, pointing you towers are? P O Y N. Because the Earth curves. Because the Earth curves. But water doesn't curve, man. Water curves if you have, have you ever a taken? On it. Have you ever taken a picture of the horizon? Like, have you ever been to the beach before? Yes. Okay. Do you have a picture of you at the beach? No. Really? You never took a picture of the horizon, like looking up. No. Looking at the. I like to live in the moment. Okay, well, that's your choice. Yeah. Um, but if you did, you wanted to check out my Facebook page, I actually posted a picture of me at the beach yes. on Rayong, okay. Thailand. What, what does that prove at all? Uh, well, I took a picture, a friend of mine took a picture of the horizon, and for about a foot, get a ruler, you know, 12 inches, I lined that ruler up with the horizon, and I didn't see a curve. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, so explain that, oh, please. Oh, you... I'm just saying, Honestly, it's, it's oh interesting, I mean, but people do wait, that all wait, the time. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, maybe. From the airplane? Maybe. Let, let, let's, what if? Let's hear me out. Uh, but see, what now you're mocking me right if, now. What if? The Earth was so big uh -huh. that the perceivable change in the curvature of the Earth at ground level uh -huh. was so small that the uncertainty in your measurements uh -huh. completely outwashes that. Okay, then how did they take a picture of this, man? You go really far back. Okay, so, okay. But we've never okay, been so this I'll, far I'll, to get that so picture. I'll, I'll do a demonstration. Yeah, Dave, let's watch this if demonstration here, folks. Of this base, okay, okay, let's take a picture. And, okay. Let's okay. do some experiment yeah, here, yes, folks. Yes, Taking a yes. picture. So, see? Okay. Really up close, you, it's, it's really hard to see yeah, what like the, the shape looks like the moon. of this base is. But, oh, hold on, yeah. hold on. So, like, let's try it again, but this time, let's go out here. Okay. Look at that. Just it's not flat. It's, it's crazy. Okay. It's, I don't it's understand not, what that's. So, so if you if you go back further enough. So if you if you go back far <clears throat> enough. Yep. Away from the massive Earth. Okay. Okay. You can see that it is round and not flat. 
flat. Just like, like round like a pizza or round like a ball? Just round like a ball. It's okay. spherical. Spherical. Okay. Okay? So it's just like if you take a picture of this really close, yep. it looks flat. But I don't know, it may or may not look flat. You go back, it's all of a sudden. Then why don't they just take a why don't they just give us a real picture that's not CGI then, man? Because it costs a lot of money to get something that far out. Did you know that NASA spends fifty million dollars a day? Do you know that to, But do you have any tomahawk, idea? Hey, did you know that Donald Trump's Tomahawk uh, strike in Syria cost eighty nine million dollars? Yeah, way to promote the, the destruction saying, of people in I their homes and stuff. I am not promoting it. I'm saying that is a waste of money. And I think we should be investing that into science where we can investigate how to reverse climate change and we can investigate ways which we can get out into the universe and see how the world really does work. How the universe really does work. What happens in the center of a black hole? What happens down at the quantum level when you try to consider gravity? Okay, I got one more for you and then I gotta get going, okay? I just sure. want, I just need help on this. Sure. How far can a person's eyesight see? Like, if you're on the beach... It may be a mile. Can I, can we even say for the sake of argument, maybe like two or three miles? Sure. Okay. Um, so if somebody sees something disappearing over the horizon, okay. um, and you were to get a super zoom telescope or camera, yeah. do you think that you could bring that object back into focus? Uh, it depends on how far it is, because What if it's like 20 point, miles away? Uh, you see, the curvature of the Earth is such that, that it isn't that far of a drop off after 20 miles. Okay. okay. It is a huge amount. Like, if you do you know what eight inches per mile squared is? Eight uh, inches that, per mile that squared. That is your percep perception of what you think that the curvature of the Earth is. Uh, that's can, what they give us, though, this. man. They, if they give us the like, I gotta get going, man. Okay. Yeah, I think I, mean, I think I've got enough from you, so to understand where you're coming from. Works. I mean, also barring the. Uh, I wasn't very good at learning languages, man. Also, I just kind of stuck with English. The optical illusion of light bouncing off the uh, water vapor, bending through the water vapor, okay. or hitting the ocean. Yeah. You would not be able to see it after a certain mm. point. Okay? okay. And the ocean is far greater than 20 miles, and you should it maybe is. stop thinking that the world is that small. Okay. What if what if people could see with the lens over 150 miles? I mean. So, but it's not so big that they can. Not, but it's not so big that they can take a picture like this, though. I don't know. I'm confused, okay, man. Don't really. Also, that. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, go for it. Okay. If this is CGI, it is. Okay, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. It's because that it's really expensive to get good cameras out that far. And also, it's really expensive. Yes. How much does the ISS you know, cost? It, it costs. How much does the ISS? Do you know? shit ton of money. 160, and 160 billion dollars. It is a multinational. Oh, the ISS is in low Earth orbit. Okay. Is it? Yes. Oh. So, no, you okay. can't get pictures like that from the ISS. <clears throat> I, I never said that this was from the ISS, though. Okay. I just said that this is an official picture of where we're supposed to live. And the inconsistencies of the sizes of the continents yeah, is really confusing to me. Tonight, okay. I, like, if you can find a tall building, I'm not, I'm not, this isn't going to be me. Sure, we okay. can't, we can't find a tall building. Find a tall building. You can only climb the Fauché okay. building, you can't climb the IDS tower okay. anymore. Fine. But watch the sun set tonight. Yep. Okay? And then as fast as you can, climb that building. And if the earth is curved, you'll be able to see the sunset again. Is that, is that what you're going to leave me with? Yes. Because if you, if that's true, and like, also, barring if you're not fast enough to get up there, uh -huh. okay? <clears throat> but you can almost do it by standing up if you're like over a flat area. Sure. You watch the sunlight laying down, you watch the uh, sunset, and then you stand up. Have you seen the sunset at a beach before? Like uh, uh, in the, the ocean? I have not. Okay. No, I was not lucky enough. Okay. But you can do this experiment yourself. Yeah. And if the earth is curved, you should be able to see the sunset again. Mm. And but I thought the Earth was so big that we couldn't, though. I don't understand that there's curve if you can run up a flight of stairs. It's something called... It, it's like... It's angular perception. Okay. So... So... I'm, so... So... Okay. so 
I'm just really confused. And I thought the Earth was so big. This is the Earth. Yep. The sun isn't 93 million miles, it's probably like three to four thousand miles uh, away. What proof do you have of the earth being that far away? Uh, or the, the sun? Okay. Okay. I got um I got one more for you. I'm really I, I just get really frustrated about this thing here. Can you make a fist for me? Okay, so that's the moon. Okay, and let's say that my fist is Earth. No, Earth, Earth. Actually, no. That yeah. Would be Earth. Okay. This guy. I gotta get away from him. Okay. Well, I understand. I understand. We're not gonna do scale here, man, because it's too windy, and uh, we need to communicate with each other. So humor me, okay? Um, can you make another fist, please? Moon, okay. Okay. Um, what are the craters on the moon? Meteor impacts. Okay, from like millions of years ago, right? Uh, no, throughout its existence. Okay, so, but we haven't witnessed any in the last thousand years, right? Uh, oh, there are. Always There's new ones. Oh. I've, I've never cited any article. Can you cite me an article where that's true? Uh, sure. Okay, and while you're doing it. It's a little windy, let's go inside. I know, right? But uh, let me let me just let me try to finish off here. Um, so you have your moon and your craters. Isn't the Earth's gravity stronger than the moon? Uh sure. Okay. I is it it? Yes. Uh, the gravitational fall on the uh, the moon, or the gravitational pull from the moon on the Earth is less than the gravitational pull of the Earth on the moon. Okay. Correct. How how big do you think the craters are on the moon that hit the moon? They would have to be smaller, right? Because the Earth is significantly bigger than the moon, right? What? Is the moon is the Earth significantly bigger than the moon? Yeah, but like yes. Okay. And so... I mean, the, the moon is still pretty big. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, if that's what you want to roll with. Um, so how is it that any asteroids passed by the Earth to hit the moon at a 90 degree angle? Because you never see like a two mile stretch mark of an asteroid hitting the moon. Like there's no like skips. There's no... They're always all 90 degree angles. Okay, first off, not to, yeah, not there are though. Yeah, angles. but they are, man. They're not. You haven't looked at the moon recently, off. then I guess. I don't think you understand how ballistics works. And oh. you're not an expert in ballistics, neither am I an expert in ballistics. Okay. I'm just saying that. But I know that off. but I know that when something hits something at a ninety degree angle it leaves a crater. No, see right? it leaves a crater regardless. Okay. Of the angle that it hits at. So isn't the Earth's gravity strong enough to pull in any asteroids that would hit the side of the moon that we see every day? Not necessarily. Because the asteroids because, because, that hit look, the moon have to be pretty small, these right? These asteroids are moving very fast. But again, uh, isn't Earth's also, gravity strong Earth, enough to pull also, it in? Earth, Earth does get hit by asteroids. When? The moon gets Earth hit by asteroids. When were we hit but by an see, asteroid? The thing is, the size of these asteroids are small, and we call them meteorites. Or they're not asteroids, they are meteors. And then meteorites enter the Earth's atmosphere because the and they don't, atmosphere And they don't hit thick. the moon, right? No, some of them hit the moon. Some of them hit the Earth. When but, was the last time? Though? I'm see, still waiting. Can you show is, me where they said that the they thing is, in the last thousand years? A meteor shower, because meteors burn up in the atmosphere because our atmosphere is thick enough to create a friction on the meteors, which will cause them to vaporize or break up. But why? And that's how the world works. I'm just un I, I'm really confused at how gravity works when it's supposed to be strong enough to pull in these meteors, but the er but the moon still gets hit. It hits the moon. I don't, it's a dumb question. No, it's not dumb because, it is, because we only see. It doesn't, okay, look. If you have something, yep. a, a moon here and the Earth here. Yep. Okay. The gravity falls off something about 
uh, 1 over r squared, radius being, or r being the radius of the object to the mass. Okay, okay? but I'm trying so to, I'm explaining this meteor, without using no, 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 math, I'm no. just observations. If, if you have a meteor which is closer to the moon, it's going to affect, it's going to feel a larger effect of the moon's gravity than it will the Earth's gravity because okay. it is so far away from the Earth relative to the moon. Okay. Okay? That's how it works. That's how the moon gets hit by as, uh, meteors and has all these crater impacts. And the Earth still gets hit by meteors all the time. It's just the moon doesn't have an atmosphere to... Um, so how is the moon, if the moon doesn't have an atmosphere or gravity to draw the asteroids or... Well, for the sake of argument, let's say that no, it doesn't... You can't. you can't because it does have gravity. Everything it has strong has enough gravity. gravity to draw in asteroids and, and meteors it where the Earth isn't strong, strong enough? Gravity, because asteroids are moving through, there's a lot of debris in the universe, so it, they hmm. will just hit it, but it still does have Do gravity. you know what universe stands for? Uni means single, and verse means spoken word. And then when you say, and God okay, said, no, 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 hold on. that's a spoken word. So, what's your name? What's your name, man? I, I'm I Joshua. I'm sure how to say yeah, I'm Joshua. I don't care, man. I'm on Facebook Live. No, you can I, Facebook me right now, and I, I don't give a rip. I'm really, like, that's not the issue. Yeah, so Joshua Swift, say, social experiment. You can watch all my videos that I've done here. It's because I have a future career, and I don't know who the heck cares about anything. If, if, if money is your main focus, man, then you are massively deceived, okay? No, that's not it. It's just, well, it I sounds like it. On science. That's all I want to do. Yeah. Okay? So if you were to get an alternate view that doesn't agree with like your friends and your counterparts, um, would you live a lie so that you can have friends instead of living in the truth and not no, have I any have friends? Plenty of friends. I have plenty yeah, of friends. I know. I'm sure you do. No, that have I very like-minded. I could have a lot of like. No, I could no, have no, a lot of friends no, too I if have, I believed in the globe. I but have I don't. Plenty of friends who are like hardcore evangelists. And okay. I, I've gone on trips with them. I've had long discussions about. So you've God witnessed and, and had testimony shown to you, and you still reject in your callous. Yeah, no, it's not in callous. Hmm. It's in evidence. Your your heart's not callous. No. Okay. Because no. it sounds like you're. Because I have the capacity <coughs> to understand that mm -hmm. there are different people in this world. <clears throat> yep. Um, just like you can't understand, you can't understand that people can have different genders than the they're born with. I can. Yep. I don't care if another guy sleeps with another guy. I don't care. I don't care, I don't care either because I'm not talking guy. about that right now. I'm talking about NASA I'm lying to us. If you're gonna and I'm talking about... Callous, I want you at least look at an interesting that, that's of fake. your own views and your own... But body. you don't know my views, man, because you've never seen any of my videos and you don't know why I'm doing this. And a person's sex and orientation this? and their race has nothing to do with deception. You know what's happening? So you're 19 and I'm twice your age and you think that you know more than I do. Does not correlate with your Well, it does because it I've doesn't. experienced the earth it, more in this reality. Does not correlate with your intelligence. It, you're saying. true, true about that. But doesn't it hold some credibility and a testimony that I'm willing to go out and share this information that there might be some semblance to the to truth about what I'm doing? If you want if you want to say that's true, I mean there's a lot of people who go out and you hate speech too. Sure. So if and they probably won't, any, if that probably won't get a very value, good response. If that holds any value, then if, if you think <clears throat> that holds value and you think that what you're doing holds value, mm -hmm. then you have to say that what they're doing is holds value. And I'm not comparing what you're doing to hate speech. Mm -hmm. I'm just comparing it to misguided information. Sure. And that's your opinion. Um, yep. And I have to get to it. Hey, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for your opinion and your views. Right on, man. Joshua Swift. Social experiment. Yeah. Um, I have a YouTube channel too, Authentic Intent. Social experiment. Same thing, man. Have a good weekend. Hey, are you going to go to Comic-Con? Oh, I'll be at Comic-Con tomorrow. I'll be doing the same thing at Comic-Con. Awesome. Have a good one, man.
music intent social experiment. Oh, uh, that that one's been uploaded a couple days ago. But uh, yep, the top one there. Let me see. Just make sure that we got the right one. Yeah, that's it, man. Great. Have a good rest of your day, man. Well, I mean, that's a positive sign. He came back out because he forgot my name. And now he's on my YouTube channel. So, see you, Chris. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. All right. Here we go. Hopefully my coffee is still over there. I drop. I put my coffee down. Hopefully nobody picked it up. I'm sure nobody did. It's... If anybody needs a room for the fall, looks like a pretty good uh, residence. Right on University Avenue, we're walking towards Dinky Town now. After that conversation. Still a beautiful day here. It's probably about, let's see, I'm going to guess 19 degrees. 18 degrees. That was close. Good day to be working outside. I wouldn't be able to do that because I'm terrified of heights. But I'll do like, you know, power tower. I'd probably go jump off an airplane and skydive. Bungee jump. So, I mean, not 100% terrified of heights, but something like that, you know, like a roller coaster or somewhere where I know that they're strapping me in and the, the illusion of safety is prevalent, sure, let's do it. University of Minnesota. Just trying to get some answers, let me know how big America is from the CGI images NASA gives us. I'm going to find out when this semester is over. I think it's probably over at the end of this month. I'm sure a lot of kids are getting done early because they're smart and they can regurgitate information better than most. And then you ask them five years later how far away the moon is, they have no idea. You know? The moon is three billion miles away. Okay. All right. <laughs> Crazy? Uh, that's what they tell me, yeah. But you're probably crazy if you don't investigate. Just look straight, just look straight, don't acknowledge. Right? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Give me a sucker. Let's see if it's a dumb, dumb sucker. Okay. Yep. Figured it was. He gave me a dumb, dumb sucker. So, that's fine. It's 
it's new information, you know. And until you really want to know the truth and you ask for it, you're just going to be, you know, in the matrix. You, you're plugged in. This is all you know, you know. It's all I knew. This is all I knew, too. I, 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 I don't know any other way to convey the idea to people that I was just like these people. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not from another planet. I'm not here to, how do I say, just waste my time and get a reaction out of people. You know, it's like uh, the testimony of me doing this, I would hope would encourage somebody to just debunk this, you know, so I can go home.